I pull on this, it will come out, of course. And I think I'm going to end up doing that just because it's already out. Um, you know, just taking this part out. Just, all right, bro, my fault. Oh! Welcome to Pineapple World, where your journey matters. I'm Activist, your host with the most banger videos on YouTube. Pineapple World was... Alright guys, new channel came out, Pineapple World. Make sure you guys subscribe down below. But today, welcome back. To another video of Activerse Universe today is a new day. And we got a what? We got a bundle. Let's go. go. Last video, I told you guys I'm gonna fix my tip of my hair. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let's get into it. Ooh, that was a smooth transition. So I was discovering why my hair was very frizzy on the bottom and it was curling up and different things like that that I really didn't enjoy. In this video, we're going to be fixing the frizz or the tip of your dread ends. Number one thing that I noticed that causes this thing is the weight of the water. When you get out of the shower, when you go swimming, if it's raining or something like that, what happens is all of your hair gets wet and the hair basically trickles down all the way to the tip of your to the tip of your ends where it stays there majority of the time till it dries off fully. And I don't know if you noticed this and that is what everything if you wash like a towel or your socks or something like that if you ever try to hang it up somewhere and you basically come back to test it to see if it's dry and you hit the bottom piece and you're like why is it still wet and it's because most of the moisture basically worked its way down to the bottom but the bottom would be the last part that will dry out so same thing with your dreadlocks whenever you have locks and you're washing your hair uh, be careful not to just let your water your water sit in your hair for a long time because then uh, it will work your ends out basically not in and so today we're going to be blunting our tips this fixing all you need is your dreadlock tool best tool which is crochet needle which is located or found on greatlocks.com uh, it's a few bucks just go grab you one of these because this will come in handy if you have dreadlocks whether you started it with sponge rub or other methods uh, this is one of the tools that I recommend so first I'll grab the part that has me frustrated first of all which is this one right here I showed you guys uh, last video when I put the light through this thing it is very very light at the end but right here is like very very good and like you know very uh what we what we are looking for in a dreadlocks you don't want your dreadlocks to be this light because it will literally end up stripping out soon and i'm gonna show you with the contrast of my beard you can see how skinny it is at the end and it's almost like out of here basically so if i pull on this it will come out of course and i think i'm gonna end up doing that just because it's already out um you know just taking this part out just all right bro my fault i uh yanked you too hard uh, and i don't want you to keep struggling but the rest of it that is light right here there's still a lot of lightness going on right here uh, i will fold it in and pull it in with the crochet needle i could still drag that this piece and put it in here but what happens is through time it will, the same thing will happen again and the water or anything that you apply to your dreadlocks will end up pushing it out of here so I've had this experience prior so I'm not going to do that I'm going to continue with the ones that are already connected because if they come out they're just going to end up curling up or something like that they're not going to go away the other one will literally just wash out so I'm gonna fold it in half just like so. Put the crochet needle in the back, and then now I'm trying to pull the hair into the root. Uh, the root of the dreadlock is the middle part of the whole entire dread. So if the dread is, for example, this thick, the root of it will be around the middle right here. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to pull the, the hair, the extra hair, to the middle or to the other side, and then work it in, out, in, out, uh, giving me the blunt tip that I'm looking for at the end. A firm ball that's what i'm looking to see at the end of it people that have you know long hair or curly hair or anything like that what they do is usually actually they cut their ends uh, or they um trim the ends because basically the ends of your hair is the the, the part of your hair where at least gets uh moisture at least gets 
uh, you know, any, any type of nutrients. And so it ends up starting to break, it starts to get dry. And basically what they do is they cut it or they chop it, they trim it. And what I do whenever I cover it or I go like this is that I'm holding the hair that I need it. I need the crochet needle to grab so it doesn't go anywhere. And with the crochet needle, I grab it in, grab it back inside the dread, the root of the dread. So that's basically the miracle of crochet needle. And I'm not trying to yank it too hard or trying to go fast or anything like that because I want to preserve, you know, the ends. They're, uh, they're a little bit firm than, uh, than the rest of the hair. So you want to go as light as possible. You don't want to yank it or try to go too fast or too hard, especially if you're, if you're just, you know, starting off doing crochet needle and you don't really understand the mechanism behind it. So, so far, this is what I got. I see some fuzziness just at the end of it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in like this and pull it in. So coming down from here, so hard to show you guys how, to, how I'm doing this. And then boom, see how thick it is? Just follows the same thickness. Even gets a little bit thicker right here since we had uh, turned the whole dread into it. So it gets more hair at the end of it. So what now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a palm roll method to basically make it really uh, even out and um, very smooth too, you know. Don't go too hard on it. Put a little bit of firmness to it, but don't go ham onto it. Just to kind of see where you're at. If there's like a lot of frizziness, then I'll go to, for you to go like a little bit faster, give it a little bit more friction. But for me, I know what I'm looking for. And so this will be basically the end result. I'm gonna fix another few of them. Uh, with a time lapse so you guys can see what the end result would look like for this one. So we got one down and we got a few more to go. <laughs> Have you ever poked your hands like in between your fingernails with this needle? Yeah, it just happened to me just now. Trying to go faster. That's done. Look at that. Look at that fine drill locks. He did. I end up combining this drill lock uh, with another drill lock, skinny drill lock in the back. Usually the back of your hair ends up having the thinnest drill locks. And it's just like, it just looks like that's how it started in the beginning. You can see it by the roots, how skinny the roots are right here. Then it gets really skinnier as it came out. And that's why it's like the curliest because it just has no weight to hold it down like that. So this is how to fix your ends. And uh, if you guys keep having this issue where it turns, it means that the drill lock is kind of like broken. And every time, you know, the water weight brings it down it ends up curling up and it's going to continue to do that so you actually blunt your tip and the best way to blunt your tip is to follow this direction that i give you and fold it and then crochet needle it and then boom it took me about a minute or a minute and a half to two minute but i did it you know what i mean and so it just makes your dreadlock look, look way better like look at that versus how it looked like and now you do that for the rest of your dreads, like these ones. Sheesh, like your dreadlock will be amazing. So this is how you fix the ends of your locks from what it used to look like, which is before hands. This is what it looked like. This is the before. Look at that. Look at that. Just, just look at this ugliness to where it looks like this now. You can literally automatically tell which one I did just by grabbing onto it to where they look like this right here. Boom. That's what they're gonna end up looking like. Yes, so hope you guys enjoyed the video, but till next time, keep acting the verse and creating your universe. On our next video, I'm gonna be dealing with why your dreadlocks frizz up. And uh, this is, of course, a second part to why the, the blunts look like that. It is also another issue a lot, of people, a lot of people kept on asking me in the comments down below that how do you fix fuzziness? How do you get rid of it? Especially if you have a 3A, 3B, 3C or below hair type. And the force, it could be a little easier, but at the same time, you guys still can deal with the same struggles as the other hair types. So if you guys wanna watch that video, make sure you guys subscribe and hit the bell button. And uh, like this video also to show that, you know, I did some work. I showed you guys how to fix the end of your hair. So till next time, keep back to the verse and create your universe. I'm Activerse and I'm out. Stay tuned. Peace out. God bless you, man. God bless you. Love y'all.